Today we're going to be looking at our 1951 Ford Victoria. This car came out of a private collection. It originated in Arizona and in 2006 it came up to Chicago where it's been in a collection ever since. This video we're going to walk you around, show you the car in detail, try and point out any of its flaws that we see. I'll also point out any of the features that we see try and give you an in-depth look at the car inside and out we encourage you to call with any questions and hopefully this builds a comfort level for you in full disclosure as you can see all the trim is here all the bright work everything's here bumpers bezels, grills, all in nice shape. Very light, light, light pitting on some of the pieces as normal, on the emblems and such. But overall, the paintwork on the car is phenomenal. Really well done. We would guess that it was probably painted uh, before coming up to Chicago and prior to 2006 at some point. Can't be certain, uh, the current owner uh, recently passed away, unfortunately. As you can see, the tires are in nice shape. Again, all the trim, emblems, window moldings, roof line moldings, all that's all here and all in very nice condition. scaled up model being a Victoria as you can see it sits very nicely there's a couple little creases on the roof here you may or may not be able to see if we get the camera angle right they can be removed by paintless dent repair it looks like somebody might have set some stuff on the roof at some point or pressed their arm on there I'll point all that out to you Again, some very light pitting in the, in the chrome, but it's very hard to see. As you can see, we've got an original 1951 license plate that comes with it, as well as the Arizona plate, which is inside the car. This is one of our favorite body styles of the early Fords, without a doubt, especially with the rear glass uniqueness, the two-tone colorway. I'm just going to slowly move all around here, show you the hardware, panel fitment. The car was originally a green briar over Sea Island Green uh, with a green Bedford cord fabric interior. As you can see, the interior is now white, which looks fantastic. Inside the sills, Nice and dry here. Kick plates are all nice. All the way up and through to the dash. Original brushed aluminum face. This car has been converted to 12 volts, so you'll see some extra gauges inside for the alternator and other features. All the glass on the car is very nice inside. Headliner's nice and tight. The visors sit nicely. As you can see, this is really a nice example of one of these cars. Normal little blemishes, but for the most part, it's, uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful example. driver's side nice and dry nice and solid we believe this to be an original metal car uh, meaning all the panels are original to the car it would make sense coming out of Arizona it is an overdrive car it's a three-speed on the tree the overdrive does work and here you can see our gauges um, the 
that the owner did when he converted it to 12 volt, which is a great thing to have. Easy to service and maintain. The parts are readily available. Let's get into the hood and let you have a listen to the flathead V8. It really runs well. Um, I've got to be honest. It uh, it fires right up. It takes a nice idle. It's got that raspy sound that everybody loves about a flathead. Again, it's on 12 volt, which is great. You can see the alternator here. The ignition's all been converted over. The starters, everything on down the line. We believe this to be the original motor in the car, although we're not certain. We can barely see the stamping on the back of the block. Not as important on these early Model 50s, but wanted to note that. Take it for a little drive here. Again, it's a three on the tree, column shift, manual with overdrive. Car drives nice and straight, does stop fine. We would recommend servicing the car as we do with all of them. represent any of these cars as you know serviced and ready to go on the road although a lot of them are we just like to our buyers to get their car serviced on their own um, the brake pedal drags a little bit probably from sitting so it should be noted that you'll want to service the brakes for sure looking under the car we kind of can tell that this car maybe have been a frame off um, job at one point or uh, done on the car but it's very nice underneath it was painted on the underside at some point and as you can see it's in very good shape it's nice and dry the floor pans are nice and solid it's got a set of glass packs on it to really emphasize the sound of the flathead and the trans again an overdrive transmission as you can see, normal scaling and surface rust is present. Nothing of concern. Take you back down the driver's side here just to show you the lower edges of the panels. A couple little blemishes, some little bubbling here and there from normal road grit. But all in all, really, really a great car. So we encourage you to give us a call anytime. If you have any questions, we'd be happy to walk you around, send you more pictures, video, whatever you might need. You can get us at 773-267-2684. Again, if you have any questions, you can visit us online at chicagocarclub.com or give us a call. Thanks for viewing.